have you wondered how some managers can manage the team tasks well and achieve their goals? Today, I'm going to show you a secret tool that you can use to get things done for you and your team too. Now, the secret tools I'm talking about is inside Microsoft Teams. So you got to go into your Microsoft Teams, right? Like I'm showing you right here. Okay, this is a demo Microsoft Teams. Once you get into this Microsoft Teams, just click here, the plus sign right over here. Click this tab. Now, uh, what the apps that we're talking about is Planner. Okay. So because I use it frequently, it comes out over here. If not, just come here and type Planner. And then you will pop out over here. Just select it. Okay. Now, if you have not created or not using Planner before, all you need is just come here. You can just take the default name as task, or you can create like sales task, meeting task, or whatever task. You just give it a tab name. So after that, you can see here the, the tab name. So I got two tasks over here. So Microsoft Teams allow you to create as many planner as you want. So once you create here, you just need to click save. Yeah. Now, if you have others that already create inside Microsoft Planner apps, you can click right over here and then you can just select it to share to your teams. Now, I'm not going to talk about that later on. If you have any question, then just leave a comment right below. Okay, so right over here, I close this. I'm not going to save this because I created one so that it's same time. Okay, right now, let's go click on the sales task. So this is the one that I created earlier on. And you can see there are like three tasks over here. So now we have different faces. If you want to know more, uh, watch this video that I created earlier specifically on how to create or set up your planner. Yeah, right now I already set up like three tasks. Very simple. All you need is just click add task and then you can put in a task name let's say task two okay if you want to set a due date not you can set it later on yeah so task two right over here and you want to look at the details you can click over here and then you can assign to any of your team members i'll talk about that in a while then you can have your progress whether it's not started in progress or completed Okay, priority as well as other things, right? You want to have more details, you can do that. And or you want to have more subtasks like checklists, you can add this. Yeah. So this is the one with the checklist you can see here. And you want to show it on the card means that you can see it directly on your board. You can click here if you do not want to show it. Okay, click over here, then untick that. It will not show that. You see, there's only showing you that there are three tasks in here, subtasks or checklist. Okay, so click over here. I want to show it on the card. Now you want to add some comments, a description, right? So important notes. You can click it here. You want to show it there. You can do it right over here. You can show the notes here. But once you show the notes, okay, let me see whether I can show both or not. No, you can't. So either you can show this, the checklist or the subtask or the notes, okay? So either one, we want to show it right over here. But usually I prefer to see my subtasks right over here, okay? Now, once you do that, first thing that you want to monitor your team, yeah, this is what you usually do. This is based on the latest new Teams Planner, yeah, that just launched like a couple of weeks ago. Okay, and uh, grow by here, group by buckets means that right now, instead I can set up different buckets, okay, like in progress, so on. Right now, I don't have to do that. All I need is just I can group by progress. So I can see that what are the tasks that is already started in progress or completed. Okay, and it's very simple. Okay, this is what we call Kanban board. Now, you want to learn more what is Kanban, K-N-B-A-N. Okay, leave a comment, come by right below. I'll create another video to talk about that. It is one of the Agile or Lean tools. 
Now, how do you want to move this? Let's say if I want to start task two, so I can just move this here. Okay, let me move it back, show you here. You see, the program is not started right over here. Instead, I can change it right over here, but I prefer to drag and drop. Yeah. So because this is like a Kanban, Kanban, if you search Kanban on your Google and you can go to just images, photos, you can see that there's a lot of like post-it notes. So these are like some kind of your post-it notes. Okay. So you move from not started to in progress, automatically you will change it right over here. You can see that, right? And uh, now if I want to check the, the status by people, let me show you. Let's say assigned to, okay? So I can see that how many tasks is assigned to different people, okay? So all I need is, uh, let's say for example, I want to assign tasks to myself. I can drag it right over here. You can see that automatically it will come out right over here. I put it back, it disappeared. You see that, right? I move here. So this is assigned to me. Now once it's assigned to me, myself, if you're using Microsoft to do, okay? It will show up in your the so-called task assigned to you. Let me go to my Google Outlook and open the to do. Okay. All right. So you can see here, it's actually assigned to me to show it right over here. Assigned to me, the meeting action. And I can click over here. You can see the same thing right over here, the subtask, yeah? So I can put it all in my Teams, yeah? And I will always have Microsoft to do on my phone so that I can group all my tasks in one glance, right? Using my phone, right? Microsoft to do. Try using Microsoft to do is another very good uh, apps. Simple, free, and very powerful if you know how to use this, okay? so. This is how you monitor. And the best thing I like to show you is, hold on, right? Okay. The next thing is that the schedule. Yeah. Schedule, this is what usually we call the time boxing. Yeah. So if you have the task and when it comes to, let's say, for example, this week, I want to plan when I'm going to do this task. Okay. Or complete this task. I just drag and drop right over here. So this you see, task two right now, okay, the due date will be on the 20th of. You can see that, right? So, simple, just drag and drop to the dates and you can see all this is in a calendar form. Or you can move it around, you see, yeah? So that you can get one glance on your calendar. If I want to see weeks, this is how we're going to see it. Now, the last part is most interesting is a dashboard. It will automatically create a dashboard for you to monitor your teams. Yeah, you can see that how many tasks is already started. RMI start is in progress. If you have due date, it become late. Then it will show how many are late. Yeah, and then by priority. And then you can see by the team members, how many is not assigned. And you can see the details right over here. Yeah, group assigned to who and who and who, yeah. All right, or you want to see by progress, you can see right over here, the details. So this got the charts. Now, how great is that, right? You have all this complete, yeah. As long as you have Microsoft Teams, then you should be able to use your planner, yeah, for free, right? So test it out, okay? Now, if you have any question regarding on Microsoft Planner, do leave a comment right below. Now, if you like this type of productivity content, do give us a thumbs up and share this with your friends and colleagues. By the way, I'm Andrew. I create productivity tips like this so that you can learn all these tips and grow your career. I'll see you real soon in my next video.